Hi guys, so in today's video, I will teach you how to make sambusa for this Ramadan. So first of all, I put one plastic here because making sambusa is so messy, so I need a large space where I can fold some of the sambusa bread. For the ingredients, we only need parsley, two medium-sized onion, and one carrot. So let's start. So we have here the chopped onions and parsley and then the grated onion, uh, grated carrots. We grated it so it will cook fast. And we have here the ground beef and make sure to wash it well and drain the liquid from it. So the next thing to do is heat a pan then pour three tablespoon of cook of cooking oil or vegetable oil it's up to you and once it's hot um saute onion just mix it very well so it will cook um will cook all of the onions so after you smell the aroma of the onion pour one cup of water to cook it fast and just let it dry as you can see the water is boiling so just let it cook like that little dry now so once it's dry um, pour I put some of the pepper one teaspoon is enough but for this one I can't measure it because I need to do the do the thing the next step or next spice is that you will um, put, uh, put in the Sambusa on the onion is the cinnamon cinnamon powder. One teaspoon of cinnamon powder is enough to give some a, um, a sweet punch on the your on your sambusa. The next one is the cumin powder. Two teaspoon of cumin powder is enough and the next one would be 4 teaspoon of salt 4 teaspoon or Two tablespoon of salt. You can make it salty or less salty. It's up to your preference. But for me, um, two teaspoon or a uh, four teaspoon or two tablespoon is enough. So just mix it well until the spices covered the onions. Once all the onions are covered, and it smells, and you can smell the aroma of the spices, you can now put the beef. I usually use 1 kg of ground beef. So just do like that. Make sure to separate the beef from or pound the pound the beef so it will not stick together and make a clumsy appearance. So just do that technique to separate it. And after that you'll see there is water, then put them the carrots. And do that technique again so we will 
prevent it to sticking it together just wait until the water is dry as you can see there is still water So while waiting, Mommy. I play with my cat, Remy. Mommy. See, he's kicking. He don't mm. want. Yeah. Come, he don't want us to touch his feet. Mm. He will be annoyed. Since the beef will take long time. I'm always playing with my cat while cooking. I piss him off, really. You know, maybe if he joined Taekwondo champ uh, Championship, he will win. And now he hide his feet. He loved this one, smelling the onions in my mo in my hands. So cute. Who's the cutest? Who's the cutest? Yeah, Remy. His name is Remy. Now he's pissed off again. Stubborn cat. As you can see in my hand, free mark, it's this bag. So this one, you will see that it's almost dry. So we need to make sure that there is no liquid. Okay, there's a little more. more. So it will be wet. We need yeah. to dry it up so um, it so will not um, it will not give liquid on the sambusa leaves. So we can wrap it. Um, totally good. We can wrap it good. So this one, it's dried up. And now I let it cool, then I just play with my cat again. Because I'm waiting for my sambusa meat to cool down so I can put the parsley. The last step is the parsley. Remy. And he, there you go, he left me. And then now, pour two tablespoons of water in a container and place a one tablespoon of flour. Then just mix it. This mixture will make our sambusa leaves to stick together. So now that it's cold, we will put now the parsley. Hold on. So for new beginners, I will teach you how to make sambusa and I will teach you how to fold it, okay? So here um, we have the sambusa leaves and you must press on the side where you will fold the leaves, okay? So press it here because you will fold it right here to have a perfect triangle. Next one, next step is you will press it here because you will turn it there. This technique is to prevent any hole inside because if there is a hole, there's a tendency that the meat will go outside while frying it. So to avoid that one, we must make sure that there is no hole underneath. Okay, so we will put some sambusa meat. There you go. We'll put some leaves. Okay, so another technique on doing a perfect sambusa leaf, sambusa I mean, 
is do not overload it do not make it full so you can um, fold it perfectly so there you go pull it out and like just like what i've said a while ago press it where you will turn it so press it here because you will turn it there another one press it here because you will turn it on this side and then here because you will turn it there this is for the beginners usually but for those who make some boost a lot it's so fast but this one to make sure that you won't make any mistake so i will put the mixture of water and flour that we prepared a while ago this is the one if you could remember okay so let's do this fold it press it here because you will fold it here and make sure that there is no nothing like this so make it all straight so if you fry it it will be perfect folded okay and then as you can see there is like a bag here so in every bag there must be something on it right so this side you must put it inside this bag little bag cute bag here okay then stick on it okay so there you go a perfect sambusa hope you learn something from me okay so let's just finish making a lot of sambusa because i will make a lot okay done it's done so for that one kg of meat um i'm i was able to make this much of sambusa so on frying sambusa make sure that the oil is hot enough to fry them okay so this is the first fry to have the crispiness of sambusa, you must double fry it. So just drain the first fry, fried sambusa. As you can see, it's not that dark brown. And then this is how the second fry looks like. It's crispy and it's it's light brown. Okay. hot really then now this one we'll try this one okay it's hot it's really hot hold it for a sec okay so you can see the meat and uh, so this is how it looks like hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching adios